Hello Cancers, thank you so much for checking out my channel here at Reflective Moon Tarot. I am Sarah and I will be hosting your reading for today. And this is not a time specific reading. It is definitely influenced by the full moon in Aquarius during Virgo season though. So lots of earth and air energy. And also some fire as well we need to bring in to the situation. So with that, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Uh, please do keep in mind that not all of the messages that come out in this from the cards um, are meant for every single individual who checks out this, this reading. So use your own discretion. And uh, please do not try to make it yours if it really isn't. So with that, we'll do a general reading for Cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So someone who is a protector of the domestic realm of the home, of the grounds that we walk on, of uh, the home of our of ancestors. Not everybody's ancestor, but wherever it is specific to you this year, even though it's uh, space, still taking on the idea from Pamela Coleman Smith's So with that, let's move on. So this is a person. This could be a very grounded person that you're concerned with or who's entered your life. Um, if it's you and it's all about moving into the role of the queen within your career or with your health, uh, balancing give and take um, with your energy output, with your creative energy, with the way that you are actualizing your goals and also injecting that element of it factor, knowing that you, that you got the stuff. So if this is a person in your life, they may, they may present to you as not as confident as you would like them to be, but they are most likely loyal and have the same sort of values, are grounded in the same view or come from the same type of lineage. I feel like that is also a possibility. And that's a, that's always amazing to have that connection with somebody. It's not, it's definitely not something that is powerful enough to be the foundation of a relationship, but it certainly is a mitigating factor. So, what do we got here? There doesn't seem to be any conflict emotionally. And that's powerful. Sometimes conflict is essential if there's going to be some forward movement. It's what challenges us, but also it's great to enjoy feeling good <laughs> for a change. So congratulations, Cancer. Overlooking the situation emotionally, we you're good. Subconsciously, though, um, cutting your losses and moving on. So you're good with doing that. That's really important from this um, reverse five to the eight. Uh, maybe five and eight are numbers that are significant to you. 58 or what else? What's five plus eight? 13? Yeah, 13, so a year. 13 moons. A year from now or a year 
that's past, something that happened last year, where things are so much better this year compared to last, and it's emotionally got you in a good spot. What else? So coming from a place where a lot of folks are getting this card reversed lately. Um, I mean, so I, I really do feel like that speaks to like the situation of where we've been globally, where we're at globally. Um, just not really un having a good foundation. It's hard to have a solid foundation when, you know, lockdowns are happening and, you know, people are getting sick and there's all kinds of politics regarding our movement and freedom of transportation and also safety of people at risk who deserve to be protected. So let's see where we're moving to, where we're moving towards. have the five of swords so no we're moving into a place where like there's some serious freedom from being bogged down by haters by energy vamps by actual theft theft of um theft of ideas theft of property theft of opportunities there's so many things that the Five of Swords speaks to. And, you know, it's it's like um, the person, the people who are plotting against us, like, say, for example, more so in the, in the Seven, um, you know, this Fiverr situation, it, it's always the person can't handle it. They're, they're just like, I want all the swords, but, like, what are you going to do with three swords? And then there's there's another, like, you can't even hold on to the two more. People are just walking away. They're like, I don't even want to fight you anymore. Like, you're just, you're not playing fair. You're throwing cheap shots. Like, you don't have to deal with, with bullshit like that from people in the near future. You're going to be free of that for a little while, which is amazing. Lucky is what that is as well. You know, that's a combination of luck and also um, powerful efforts that you have most likely put into being done with that shit and moving away from it. So congrats. Let's acknowledge that you, you're there. So there is uh, some negative self-talk that you are still, I want to say victim, but that you still subject yourself to on some level. And it could be, like, I feel like it's a combination of things. Like when we talk shit about other people or come to conclusions about people, we're really not doing ourself a, just, a justice in any way, shape, or form. Um, when you make assumptions about what people's intentions are, um, you know, it's, it's like this, it's like this stupid waste of energy. It's almost like you're vamping your own shit when you're wasting your time trying to make sense out of nonsense. So don't do it. Um, it's just going to really, um, split, like create a divide within, you know, the work that you've done. Um, to promote self-love. Sometimes I feel like when the lovers also comes um, reversed, you know, it's it's about a balance of masculine and feminine energy. And I feel like it's also a balance of how people express their masculine and feminine energy and how they choose to see their role in society in relationship to that, especially with regards to a gender justice, um, accepting um, the genders that people um, choose to express themselves in, 
uh, the people who are paving the way and um, standing up for who they are and just um, not allowing themselves to be subjected to um, the fixed static ways of binary thinking of either or thinking it's it's very zero sum thinking it leaves no room for the gray areas that um that exist in this world like everything is like this big fat gray area just look at the moon it's literally just that so be accepting of the gray areas don't challenge people's existence on account of not really taking the time to uh, accept that aspect of yourself. You know, the aspect of self that is just so a basic, as, that's as basic as like, hey, I have these relatives. They exist here in this world. I may not be directly related to them, but as human beings, we're all here. It's tricky with this colonization business too. Puts our minds in places that were not our ancestors' intentions. Queen of Wands, hey now. Here are some, here's a person with some great ideas for you. Uh, here is a person who could be you as well, just exuberating, is that even a word? It is now exuberating confidence and I would say even like delight um just delight in your own ideas like it's almost just like knowing that you're the shit uh you know like this uh Janelle Monet lyric but even back then, in my eyes, I always knew I was the shit, right? Even when you were down, there was a piece of you that knew you had no business being there. So other people see you as just lighting this crazy-ass fire that speaks to that, that shares that type of story of, you know beating the odds in so many ways and then also understanding the ways in which you had it good as well and working with that and acknowledging that it's not always the same for everybody and so we always need to pay mind and pay tribute to the folks who who require extra attention because they do not have specific privileges that you may have had in your walk to where you are at this time So, yeah, I don't know. I think that uh, being seen as the Queen of Wands is definitely some hot shit. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Okay, so we have Justice reversed and then the Queen of Swords. So you're afraid of not continuing, not making, I, I think you're afraid of this not being sustainable on some level. Um, which is all in your head. And there's some like, there's some mental energy, there's some psychological shit that you still need to come to terms with on some level. This could also be a person who's influenced you and been psychologically abusive towards you in your life. So coming to terms with that. I mean, the Queen of Swords is my favorite queen, but reverse, like stay the fuck away. No, thank you. I'd rather deal with the Queen of Wands reversed than the Queen of Swords reversed. Because the Queen of Wands reversed, you know that this person is just like, you know, a jealous bee. This person, like a jealous bee because they can't recognize within themselves the, the amazingness that you're reflecting, that, that, that you would be reflecting towards them, right? They can't see that, so they lash out. This person is like a complete narcissist who is really interested only in sabotaging your situation. So, well, shit. I think, I think that this speaks to more some self-sabotage 
Don't sabotage your own shit. Don't let your mind get the best of you. And, and I feel like it speaks to, like, so the Queen of Swords lashes out because they're insecure about their intelligence. So don't ever, ever, never, ever, ever think that you're dumb. Because there is nothing dumb about being a beacon of light creatively for whoever is in your circle, however big or small your circle is. So don't don't be afraid of 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 not being able to make your world sustainable at this time, of making it equal and doing yourself justice and and helping to deal with injustices in the world. Cuz you're just going to end up becoming a victim of your own pride and fulfilling your own prophecy. Don't be too caught up on this shit. Do not let your mind get stuck on a justice reverse vibe. It's it's literally going to fulfill your prophecy of your, like, your fear. So let's not end. Okay, we got the King of Cups. I don't like to end with court cards, but I feel like this is also you, like, having this queen and king energy. Someone to love you, but also you loving yourself. Like, this, this speaks to, you know, various situations that are possibilities and that are actually happening so meeting someone who requires your warmth and who can emotionally hold themselves as well as you this person is emotionally intelligent and also mentally intelligent because they trust their gut they trust their feelings they operate on a very high level of um, intuition you know it requires a strong mind and a strong heart to guide to be driven by um, primarily intuition as opposed to logic and reason so if this is you amazing also if this is somebody coming into your life fucking a that's all i can say about that Yes, I am Canadian. <laughs> so, direction. You're in the right direction, no matter what. No matter, like, what awesomeness or bullshit is coming your way, you have put everything in the right direction for yourself. This is lining up. Like, you are a freaking Olympian who has literally whipped eight javelins the right way. So eight phases of the moon, you're going through everything, everything that you need to at this time, maybe even all at once, you know, stop and smell, make sure you stop and smell the roses and like bask in this glory. I feel like this is a really amazing read. So thank you so much, Cancer, for, for checking out this reading. And I really hope that it resonates and um, we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.